Hey, y'all, and thank y'all for tuning in. Now, if this is your first time, welcome. Now, if you've been here before, welcome back. Y'all, I am excited. That's because we are going over the frittata lovers bacon mozzarella frittata, y'all. And on this channel, the food is always the star. So we have this bacon, and we are slicing it, y'all. I just took it out the pack, left it how it was in the pack and laid it out and sliced it. I didn't stack it into one row. I just laid it out and sliced it. The reason why is because when it gets to cooking in this cast iron skillet, y'all, it will separate. Now, I have this cast iron skillet on high heat, the highest level of heat you can cook it on, y'all. So that's what we're working with. We want this bacon to crisp up. And sometimes when you cook bacon and you cut it into pieces, it tends to not crisp up on you, and that's because it's not being cooked on a high heat level. You have to cook that bacon on high heat. And while that's still cooking on high heat, we're going to hurry up and get these onions julian, then diced, y'all. Yes, make sure we hold the knife proper, y'all. Index finger on one side, thumb on the next, y'all. And we have to tuck those fingers when we go across right this to dice it. Hold the knife right. The knife is your friend, y'all. So we see how the bacon is looking. We still cooking it on high heat. And we're going to let that bacon render and those onions render down together, y'all. Look at where we are. That is going to be the base of the frittata, y'all. But while that's still going, we want to make sure we cut the heat down just a touch because we don't want that to burn. So we cut that heat down as we cut up these chives too. So the heat level's about on level five now, halfway through, because we know that bacon fat is boiling. It's hot. It's ready, y'all. So we're going to go ahead and drop those chives in there. Get those chives in, mixed up. Yep. And then from that point, we want to cut the heat off. And once we cut the heat off, we're going to just go ahead and let it render down a little bit. Because when you cut the heat off, it's still cooking. We have to keep that in mind. It's still cooking. So this is actually all the way off the heat. And now you see what I mean. It's still cooking. So it's time to strain it and drain it. We don't need all of that excess bacon fat, y'all. All that bacon oil. We don't need all of that. So we're going to go ahead and strain it out and sit that bacon fat to the side because we can use it later on for a different dish or whatever we want to use it for. Next up is the eggs, y'all, in the same cast iron skillet, and we're going to drop in that strain bacon and onion mix, y'all. And we have this cast iron on high heat. I have it on high heat right now, and I'm going to cut it down after I get all that whisked in together. All right. So I left it on high heat, whisked it in to about this phase right here. So it was on high heat for about a minute. And then I cut the temperature all the way off, all the way off. And then I added in a touch of milk and whatever seasoning, whatever flavor agents you want to add in. Go ahead and add those in, y'all, because this is the difference between a frittata and a quiche. It's not just crustless that's mozzarella cheese we dropped in it's not only about the crust when it comes to the frittata versus the quiche it is also the cooking method the frittata is cooked on the stove top partially and then put into the oven the quiche is slow baked the entire way take a look at what we have here y'all that look good there doesn't this bacon mozzarella frittata look good y'all with those onions in there and that's in that cast iron y'all look at how that mozzarella cheese pops and that's what i wanted i wanted the cheese to pop off for this client in particular and they loved it they love quiche but they needed to cut back on the carbs and i introduced cast iron frittata to them and they love the way it tasted coming out of this cast iron skillet and in case you are worried when you cook your frittata in this cast iron skillet is it going to stick to the cast iron skillet no that frittata will not stick to your cast iron skillet 
especially if you have your cast iron skillet sprayed down already. Look at that, y'all. Now, if you have any questions or you feel like it's something that we miss, let us know so we can add it to the playlist, y'all. Now, y'all be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see y'all on the next side.